Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, number 772, the category, Trebek Trivia, number 37. These questions come straight from the television show Jeopardy. They've been altered slightly to fit the format of this trivia quiz, but all the questions come off of the show. I think this one was from the 1980s. So good luck on today's trivia. Question number one. A term used by the Quakers in Pennsylvania during the 1790s, describing a place for criminals to dwell upon their sins. What is the name for this place that comes from Latin for repentance that is still used today? The answer is a penitentiary. Question number two. A cloud of ash circled the earth when one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in recorded history occurred on what small uninhabited volcanic island east of Sumatra and west of Java on August 27, 1883. The answer is Krakatoa. Question number three. American colonists began importing them from the Caribbean in the 17th century. Due to its seemingly exotic qualities and rareness, what type of fruit soon became a symbol of hospitality in early America? The answer is the pineapple. Question number four. Due to the low filing fees, favorable taxes, and low incorporation fees, more than 50% of publicly traded companies in the U.S. and more than 60% of Fortune 500 companies are incorporated in what U.S. state? The answer is Delaware. Question number five. What is the term for creatures like hyenas, vultures, or hermit crabs that feed on dead organisms, especially a carnivorous animal that eats dead animals rather than or in addition to hunting live prey? Those type of animals are called scavengers. Question number six. Although its name comes from the Spanish for pelican, most of its inhabitants and the people who sent them there appropriately call it the rock. What is this name of this one-time federal prison? The answer is Alcatraz. Question number seven. Unlike their brother, Peter Rabbit, his three sisters are well-behaved bunnies who are always trying to stay out of trouble rather than going looking for it. What are the names of Peter Rabbit's three sisters? Peter Rabbit's three sisters are Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Question number eight. ELO is an English rock band formed in Birmingham in 1970 by Jeff Lynne, Roy Wood, and Bev Bavon with music characterized by a fusion of Beatlesque pop, classical arrangements, and futuristic iconography. What does ELO stand for?
ELO stands for Electric Light Orchestra. Question number nine. Built between 1808 and 1811 in the shape of an 11 pointed star, the remains of what fort, originally one link in a chain of defenses protecting New York City and its vital harbor, is the current resting place for the Statue of Liberty? I did not know this before today. The answer is Fort Wood. Question number 10. A constellation in the northern sky whose associated mythology likely dates back into prehistory. Ursa Major, meaning the Great Bear, is better known by what more common constellation name? Most people know that constellation as the Big Dipper. Question number 11. Because he doubted that this was the real Jesus that he saw die just days before, which one of the twelve apostles refused to believe until he was able to put his finger into the nail marks in Jesus' palms? The answer is Thomas. Doubting Thomas. Question number 12. What is the current name of the worldwide organization that was originally formed in 1935 when Bill Wilson, a stockbroker, and Dr. Bob Smith helped each other stay sober? The answer is Alcoholics Anonymous. Question 13. Major was the name of a boar whose speech given on his deathbed led to revolution in what 1946 George Orwell novel that allegorized the Russian Revolution of 1917? The answer is Animal Farm. Question 14. Alternating between Victorian and World War II settings, the popular English actor Basil Rathbone played what fictional character in 14 films between the years of 1939 and 1946? Basil Rathbone was most famous for playing Sherlock Holmes. Question number 15. After being wrongly convicted of murder in France and sentenced to a life of hard labor, Henri Charrier, better known as Papillon, was sent to the penal colony of Cayenne in French Guiana, better known as what? It doesn't sound like a place you want to get sent. The answer is Devil's Island. Question number 16. Although there are an infinite number of things you can do with numbers, if you think back to your childhood school days, what are the four most basic mathematical operations? The answers are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Question number 17. Making up 1.5 to 2% of the total body weight, what is the most abundant mineral found naturally in the human body, 
mostly in the bones and the teeth. The answer is calcium. Question 18. November 28, 1925 was an historic day for country music. It was on that date that the WSM Barn Dance, a weekly country music stage concert, began broadcasting. A couple of years later it was renamed to what and is still on the air today. They renamed it to the Grand Ole Opry. Question 19. Published in 1798 in his longest major poem, which Samuel Taylor Coleridge character cries out, Water, water everywhere, nor any a drop to drink? That character was the Ancient Mariner from Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Question number 20. If you add up the total number of humps in a group of three Bactrian camels and four dromedaries, how many humps would you have? Bactrian camels have two humps, dromedaries have one, the answer is ten. Ten humps. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. You'll be reminded of when we post these new daily quizzes. Um, if you're just now finding us, this is episode number 772 which means there are 771 other trivia quizzes that you can go back and play right now, or you can just stay tuned. We release a new trivia quiz every day, usually around noon Central Standard Time, but uh, as in this case, sometimes I get to them late or early and they pop up at a different time. So if you hit that notification bell, it'll tell you exactly when we pop them up. But if not, you can just check back about every day and there will be a new quiz. You can also jump over to the YouTube channel page for Road Trippia. We've got different playlists. We've got all the videos that we've ever done. You can jump straight to a category that you like. If you like the Who Am I or the Before and After Trivia, you can go straight to those type of quizzes. I think that's it. So we'll just go straight into question 21, the tiebreaker for Trebek Trivia number 37. 21. From the years 1801 to 1885, several popular models of the pre-gasoline powered automobile had what, comparatively speaking, low pollution type of engine? Between the years of 1801 and 1885, several popular models of the pre-gasoline powered automobile had what, comparatively speaking, low pollution type of engine. The answer is steam powered. They had steam powered engines before gasoline engines. Thank you for watching. Check back tomorrow for another new trivia quiz. See you then.